I'm Daniel Molitor. And I'm Christina Heidemann. And I'm Marco Bayer. And we are all researchers at the Environmental Department of Lisbon. Vivi is coming from the German word uh, Pilzwiderstandsweg, which means fungus tolerant or fungus resistant. And the resistant genes are coming from American and Asian species. And it's made by traditional crossbreeding, which means we have about 25 to 30 years that the new cultivar is developed. And meanwhile, it's also very important to um, maintain the high quality of the wine and also the um, traits in the vineyard. So it's all about quality, yield and it's like a plus that they are also resistant to the fungal diseases so that we can reduce the plant protection. One of the big arguments uh, for the cultivation of PV is that we can address two aspects of climate change more or less at the same time. So if we have the new cultivars which are more resistant, we have to spray less. And if we spray less, we have to go less frequently with the tractor through the rows. And also we have to have less energy demand for the production of pesticides. And so the carbon footprint of viticulture in PVs is supposed to be better than in the traditional cultivars. We are going to investigate this in, in detail in the coming years in a specific project. So we have the climate change mitigation and also we have the chance to adapt to climate change. So the temperature conditions are changing and yeah, this year as in the previous year we are uh, experiencing again problems with drought and PVs have maybe slightly different traits than um, the traditional cultivars. We are testing them to see also which of them might be better adapted to under changing climatic conditions. So potentially more drought resistance or maybe also ripening a bit later than uh, the traditional cultivars. And the combination is that we have the aspect of climate change mitigation, but also the potential of climate change adaptation, which makes the cultivation for, of PBs that interesting for me. Beyond the climate change aspects that Daniel just mentioned, LIST is of course a research and technology organization and we are working towards the market. There are some market barriers for the PVs, even though it might look like they have a lot of advantages. There is skepticism at the level of the consumers, there is skepticism at the level of the growers. And what we are trying to do in the project is we try to point out the risks uh, that could be associated with, with uh, growing PVs for the growers, but also we try to point out the advantages very clearly to make a contribution to convince growers as well as consumers to go into the direction of PVs. <music>